Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnum Omnivore here in Spore and we are with our little quinoa and we're doing pretty good. Last time we got our beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I'm trying to introduce my, my gorgeous unicorn uh, little stinger tail and you're just showing up and, and staring at me. What do you want, buddy, huh? Huh? I'm gonna take you on. You're, you're in my space. This is my territory. These are my fields. Whoa. <laughs> These are my fields and this is where I get my food. That's right. You better run away. You better run away This is where I get my food. You need to get out of here. Oh my gosh All right, well, we'll deal with this interloper in a moment here But we are here as the little quinoa when look at that My alpha is like checking this guy out too, trying to make sure we know what's what that's right That's right. You better be afraid of us, but we are playing currently as an omnivore and yes We may have an herbivore mouth, but don't worry We have kept our little cell stage suckers so that we can still eat meat in a pinch But ideally our lovely bumblebee hummingbird creatures like to go around taking care of their open grassland fields and making it so that we can eat what do you want you need to get out of here you really need to get out of here before I eat you but we try to take care of these fields and take it over kind of like very territorial honeybee hummingbirds so that we can eat all of the delicious fruit that we want and there's alpha specimen something something and he looks kind of a kind of spooky there's a lot of things we actually need to be fighting in this area including those guys <gasps> that's right last time we learned how to spit and we gave these guys a good spitting competition a spitting competition with mushrooms basically and they almost won, but we're not going to let that happen. We're gonna get over here And now that we have the spit ability we could actually attack from super far away and it cracks me up No, get out of here. Get out of here you alpha. That's right. And then oh, I almost charged I almost charged but he stunned me and whatever we do we cannot die if we die there we go got that guy taken care of if we die, the game actually crashes during the cutscene, um, where, oh, 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 where we die, but it seems like we did okay, all right. So we're winning our spinning competition with these mushrooms. <laughs> And our brain continues to grow. So this is so useful. I've actually never really tried spitting before in Spore. That may stun some of you, but no, I'm not really one prone to get into spitting contest. And that actually played out really nicely. Don't mind the uh, huge boost to my health that it just gave me at all. All right, and did we defeat them? <gasps> we defeated them! Yes, the victory is ours! We have claimed another territory for uh, our wonder- Oh, look at that moon! Oh my gosh, it's not a moon, it's a planet! I cannot wait to explore space with these little guys. This is gonna be so much fun. Space stage and creature stage are my two favorite stages. So that's gonna be awesome. There's the bodies of the fallen, the fallen mushrooms. We might as well eat them. Waste not, want not. And let's go get another pack member and continue to defend our territory. What the heck is that? What is that indeed? What on earth are you? You're all legs. You're all legs and a really weird neck. Huh? Huh? Look at this guy. And he's got like some funky little turtle backing. What a fascinating creature. <gasps> Somebody else is flying. Somebody else is flying. Red alert. Somebody else is flying. Who thinks? Who thinks they have any right to fly in my my home planet? Oh my gosh, what the heck? <gasps> you guys! It's a collapsed spaceship! Just how amazing is this planet? I have found a volcano, we had a meteor, and there's some gigantic freaking bones and a mysterious collapse to spaceship. This has never happened before. I have never, ever, ever had such an amazing creature stage experience. Normally, I am just getting eaten by epics 24-7. So, I mean, my, like an, an epic titan ate my mother last time. Like, as the Leo play. Speaking of which, some of the Leo play are somewhere around here. So, yeah, I am, I'm in love with this. This is amazing. I have actually uh, never seen a collapsed spaceship and this gigantic pile of bones just waiting for us. So what was that? Uh, the Grubble Ma. Well, perhaps whoever whoever this belonged to was part of the Grubble Ma. Fascinating. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. It even has like the little music symbol on top. Yeah, I've never seen a, a downed spaceship on Spore before. So this is this tickles me. It definitely tickles me for sure. Ooh, some more of some more of the bones. Uh, there's some ducks. There's some aggressive ducks. 
And they, they have an entire pile of bones all around them. But now we have a long range ability for attacking. Also, oh my gosh. Is it us or the ducks that are, oh my gosh. Yeah, my, my little pack mates were not letting up at all. Did they kill one of my pack mates? That's not cool. Oi, oi alpha duck. That's not how this is gonna work. You're gonna end up going down, okay? All right, we'll clear this guy out. I'm not worried about some ducks. There we go. All right, so we managed to snag another piece of the duck. Uh, that wasn't so bad. I think we did lose a pack member or I neglected to get one of the pack members at some point. But the good news is, oh my gosh, no, don't go over there. No wonder we're all gonna die. It's because, oh, and somebody grabbed some fruit. You can hear the spaceship actually. Ah! No, duck, I was going to attack your alpha so that I could at least get your DNA points. But now we have to do things the hard way. All right, two more ducks. So if we attack this little duck, there we go. Almost there, come on. And we did it, all right. Well, that wasn't so bad. There's just a bunch of dead ducks around us though. If we were the Leo plea, we would be very happy. This would be a barbecue party for like a roasted duck. But we're mostly clearing those guys out so we can take over their nest. Maybe like invasive hornets or honeybees where we destroy other nests so that we can have our own. Huh, that would make a lot of sense actually. All right, we'll save really quickly because we're doing such a good job. And then let's see, there's a few more bits and bobs of bones to collect. So let's snag this one. Those ducks, oh, it's a stress ball with really good strike. Man, these ducks had all these defensive bones around them. I wonder if they just kept the bones of their ancestors or something. All right, what was that one? The phlegm thrower. That sounds so gross. I think I'll stick to whatever little spit thing we have. All right, oh, look, there's some more bones. Jeez, these ducks were surrounded by bones. Just what were they up to? Oh, there's some more over here. There's also something aggressive though. The neutral dream. I don't know, whatever that sounds like. Uh, let's see if we can just grab these bones. Then maybe a skedaddle. Oh, they have more bones. Okay, so we got a blinky. And then these guys have a lot of bones and a lot of the guys. Don't know if I want to attack them. They're kind of big. All right, all right, you you just keep to yourself for a second, buddy. I'm just here to raid the bones of the, the ancestors or whatever you ate, depending on your carnivorous inclinations. Oh, that's just a stick. A really cool stick, but I have no graspies to be able to utilize the stick just yet. All right, so where the heck is home? We, we ended up on such a, a big chase, searching for things to like chase away from our territory. We're not even by our territory anymore. I know the Leo player somewhere, whoa! Diamond dragons! Hyper aggressive and fast diamond dragons! What the heck? Oh my gosh! No! No! My pack mate! No! Defend! That's the best I can do from over here! I'm sorry! All I can do is just spit at you, but if I die, then the game crashes. It's like this horrible, horrible little twist. Alright, oh yay, my pack mate is still alive. Oh my gosh, they can fly really well too. I don't know about fighting these diamonds. I think we need some better, some better spit ability, but I have to admit, I am falling in love with the ability to spit. Alright, let's see if we can attract him this way. And then we can just attack. Maybe isolate the alpha and then attack him. Can I get him? Can I get him? Come on. Oh wait, I think we can get him! <gasps> We're attacking the dragon! All right, we got him! Oh cool, we got a level five strike surprise thing! That's so cool! And the neutral dreams and the dragons are fighting amongst each other. That's amazing. All right, let's eat the bones of this dragon. Look at the neutral dream! So it's like some sort of bird thing. It's so cool. I love downloading your guys. No! What are you doing? You goose bucket! Oh no, don't tell me they can spit too. If they can spit too, they can spit too! They can spit too! Run for it! Run for it! Okay, spit maybe a couple more times. Come on. Oh no. No, my pack mate. Ooh, I've gotta run. No, my pack mates! No, death from above! No, my game will crash. <laughs> we have to flee. We have to flee for our lives and I don't think this is gonna go well. Maybe if we run past these guys, they'll pick a fight with these guys instead. All right, how goes it? All right, they've given up the chase. Oh, so tragic. <laughs> now we're alone. Oh my gosh, is this not the most beautiful spore world you have ever seen? I just cannot get over how gorgeous it is. 
<sighs> We're alone again. I suppose it's time to go home and see if we maybe have uh, some slightly better... Oh my gosh, look at the size of that guy. I don't know if I could fight him. He's kind of spooky. But I, we should probably see if we have some slightly better uh, tools. Okay, I'm just going to read your guys' bones. To give my children some more of the genetic material that we have harvested from across the world. Ooh, we have little fawn. Little fawn antlers now. Can I get a lift from... <gasps> Yay! Look how cool! I'm flying! Alright, let's find my way home so that I can heal. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. And there's just like sleeping... Was that a rogue? <gasps> I want to befriend a rogue! Hold everything! That was a rogue! I haven't seen a rogue in ages! Alright, somebody's chomping and... and did it, Wait, did the rogue just die? No, that's a rogue Grox. Wow, he's kind of spooky. I wonder if we can tame him. Also, this is so ridiculously beautiful. Alright, let's come over and see if we can tame this rogue. Because having a rogue as a friend, an ally, would be amazing. Alright, so we've got to sing. Oh, where's my buddies when I need them? I thought we could charm the absolute legs off this rogue if I had my buddies with me. I don't really have a lot charming about me. Oh man, this is like trying to... This is like trying to win over a praying mantis, I feel like. Where if I don't pull it off just right, it's gonna eat me. Yay! Are you a member of my pack now? So cool! Will you become like a member... Can I, can I convince you to become a member of my pack? Guys, I think we're gonna sing a rogue into our pack. That would be so cool! I think the rogue is telling us that we need to become more charming though, so maybe we should use some of our ability to become more charming. He's got these really amazing, like, crystals on his back! This is so cool! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, are you gonna join my little pack? Really? I get to have a rogue be my friend? <gasps> we have a rogue in the pack! You guys, yes! This is so cool! Alright, also, I think he ate another rogue. Also, what the heck? Wait, no. Is my rogue about to be abducted? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that ship. This is the best. I think this is, like, honestly... Oh, they were checking out... Wow, it's a whole bunch of little ships. <gasps> they were checking out the fallen ship. I wonder if they did that. Are they going to abduct somebody? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is the most beautiful spore world I've ever had. I am so backing this save up and we'll just play as these creatures forever if you guys want. Not not forever forever, but we definitely come back to it because this is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Are they going to abduct that guy? Is that another rogue? There's a second rogue. I'm so going to go invite that rogue into our little group. Come, other rogue. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, what's gonna happen here? No, don't abduct my- Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Don't abduct me! Don't abduct my rogue friend! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Look at everybody flee for it from the sky! Come and join my, my side, rogue friend! He's like, I'm a little distracted right now. Yes, you are glamorous. All we can do is just kind of wiggle. Oh my gosh. We have a, a ship. Oh, it just abducted someone else again. No, then it, it threw his body down. It threw the baby's body on the ground and then left. All right, let's see if we can, we can convince this rogue to come and join us as an ally. He just flew into the air to do a charm. This is so cool. Okay. Dang it. No, no, no. We're better singers. I promise. Give me a shot at singing and we will definitely charm you. Oh, I don't even have Pose. Oh, no. I don't think we're going to be able to convince this guy to come join us. Darn it. That's all I've got. Aw, oh, man. We need to go and become more charming. That's what I'm learning really quickly. So let's go and become more charming. And then we can have, oh my gosh, my rogue friend can jump too. <gasps> this is so awesome. This is the best time I've ever had, actually. Okay, let's come over here and eat. Now we, we have lost our allies in battle, unfortunately, our fellow packmates. Now, what do you eat? I think this guy's like a strict carnivore. 
That's so cool. And if we keep the rogues with us, they actually become pets that lay eggs in tribal stage, which would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and eat a little bit more. There we go. I'm all full. Okay. And now I need to find my pack mates. So let's see. We'll ignore the alpha frog monsters, perhaps. Well, that alpha frog monster, they look so much like Java the Hutt. All right, he's kind of all on his own. Oh, my rogue friend has like attack abilities too. Oh yeah, nobody's gonna be able to mess with this. <laughs> this is amazing. Hey, you guys back off. Like you better not kill my rogue friend. I'll be so upset. They're actually a lot tougher than I was giving them credit for. Um, and they fight in a better group than I gave them credit for. Just putting that out there. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. And then let's get this guy out of the way. All right, you fight a little bit better than I gave you credit for. I probably need to become a little tougher. <gasps> Look at that rogue. He's fighting too. Oh my gosh, but there goes our rogue friend. So now they're eating and hopefully they'll heal up just fine. They're like the most amazing praying mantis thing ever. I want to name you. What is your name? The Garks. So the Garks have become our friend and this ally is somewhere nearby. He's not an ally yet. He's just kind of eating. And we only, we need to hunt three more frog monsters to destroy them. That's so many. Ah, look at him run this way. Okay. Who the heck? Oh my gosh, there's like another amazing creature over there. This is fantastic. All right, let's go ahead. The alpha frog monster has been taken out. And then there's another one. And we got the porky pin, which is our rogue friend's butt actually. So we got that in exchange. Need to just hunt two more frog monsters. I'm never gonna have to worry about death and doom again. Look at me, I'm all, I'm all cheering and singing. There's one more alpha frog monster we can take out. And then it looks like this rogue is gonna eat the babies. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense from an evolutionary stage. There we go, and we just got feather ferns. <laughs> He's scared of us, that's amazing. No, no, come back my rogue friend. Oh, he ran off. Oh wait, I think he flew off. Oh yeah, he's just running, running off. All right, so we need to go and become more charming if I want to convince that other rogue to join us. So I need to get back home, not freak out my whole family, but what an adventure we've had today. I did not anticipate so much going down. That was pretty cool. And we brought home a rogue and there was an alien abduction and so many other things happened. This is fantastic. All right, now we're gonna come on over. We're gonna lay a lovely egg with this uh, this lovely mate right here. Excuse me, yes, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready to the egg. There we go. And then let's see if we need to become more charming and we need to be able to pose to attract that other rogue into our ranks. So clearly we need to improve some things. Hmm, I wonder if we can get better feet too. Oh, where's my egg? Ah, there it is, oh my, twin! I guess that's adorable. I can't believe it looked like I had twins. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's get down in here and let's see. Wow, look at all the new parts we've got our hands on. <gasps> that's so cool. All right, little King Kwa. What am I gonna do for you today? We're gonna do some improvements for sure. So I think what we need to focus on is actually getting, um, I really like the spit a lot. I really, really like the spit. And you can actually spit with a porky pane. And I wonder if it would make sense to kind of put the porky pane at the back like this. Because we could say it's like part of the stingers. But I, I want that less than I need the ability to be a little bit charming right now. Here's the feather ferns and they actually give you level five charm. So what if I put them over our wings? So what if I stretch them out? and then stretch them down. <gasps> That's actually really cool. Okay, and then what if I pulled them over here and then grab this down here so they kind of connect where our wings go. So we have like double layer wings because we do have these wings now, but they're more like raptor wings. And I don't know about that. What's their improvement? They give us level four glide instead of level um, three, but I think I'd rather spend some things on being able to pose real beautiful and on being able to do a little bit of charm, uh, which is definitely what that other rogue wants, rather than spend it on having like raptor looking wings at this stage. Because there's another one that will give us bird like wings and I want to wait for that too. Okay, so let's see. We have a charm level five now. And what was the other thing we need? We need pose. 
So let's see. Because he really, really, really wanted Pose. Oh, I think Pose comes only with the hands. No wonder. We have no hands. We have no way to pose. No wonder I'm so confused. And then we do have the toadening now as well. Can I get the toadening? Oh my gosh. Toad feet. Talk about some toad feet. Oh my goodness. Um, I wonder... So those are the best we have for jumping and dancing so far. And then there's the web waddle that also do jump. And we don't really have any other feet that do jump just yet. So I wonder if I should just focus on pose actually so let's change this wait where hey there's my feet okay uh i wonder charge 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 i like the idea of having the porcupine spit at the back as well we'll do that in the future i kind of like having it on top of our head like this right now because it actually looks pretty cool and hmm Hmm. Maybe add some help. Yeah, I wonder if I should just work on adding the graspers, but you can only do that once you have a leg or arm of some kind. I wonder, what do we have the options of? We have these really scary bone looking like ones from the creepy and cute pack. Uh, can I just put a really, <laughs> oh my gosh. Really, really, really tiny one maybe? Hmm. Hmm. A lot of you guys have been suggesting putting really tiny ones so we can use the graspers under the wings. Hmm. So I'll have to see. Let me see about that. Huh. So you can scooch it kind of like under the wings. It's just really hard. Can I make it super duper small? Kind of. You can make it like a little, a little nub thing that sort of goes under the wings. Okay, maybe right there. Almost, almost, kind of. And then maybe pull the wings up a little bit. No, I've kind of messed up the mojo we had going. Ah, uh, but if I needed to slip a grasper in there, really, really tiny, oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of horror creature have we made? <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe so it looks like it's on the end of the wings. This is just weird. I don't know. It didn't turn out the way I was kind of hoping it would for sure. Uh, definitely not. I, I think we're just gonna have to go without pose. I think that's that's the case because we're just gonna try our best without having any arms. <laughs> that's that's what I the, the final answer. All right, but what I will try can we do darn it? We can't do the higher level spit. So hmm I think we'll go ahead and we'll save for the higher level spit and just see what we can do with our level five charm now All right. Oh, I forgot to look at how it would look ah oh, in the colors. Okay. We're just gonna have to see it No, no my family Family we have to look at our glorious new wings come back family. Oh no! Well, as long as my rogue friend is with me, are they gonna be as an egg? Really? Because that's gonna be kind of amazing if that's the case. All right, is my rogue- <gasps> That's so cool! The rogue just hatched too! Look at us with our little wings! They will stand in until we have the actual feather wings. That'll be awesome. All right, so we need to go join the group's migration and I wanna see if we can find where that other rogue has gone off and charm the pants off them next time. So I'll see you guys then, bye-bye.